गुजरात टाइटंस ने रचा इतिहास अपने डेब्यू सीजन में जीता आईपीएल का खिताब सुपरनोवास बने वुमेन सी ट्वेंटी चैलेंज दो के चैंपियन इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन के वजह से एशिया कप हो सकता है श्रीलंका के बाहर नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम है अभिषेक और स्वागत है आपका इंडी न्यूज क्विक्स पर चलिए नजर डाल लेते हैं आज के स्पोर्ट्स न्यूज पर गुजरात टाइटंस वोन द इंडियन प्रीमियर लीग टाइटल इन द मेडन सीजन एज द बीट राजस्थान रॉयल्स बाय सेवन विकेट्स इन द फाइनल ऑन संडे ऑप्टिंग टू बैट फर्स्ट आफ्टर विनिंग द टॉस राजस्थान रॉयल्स वे रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन फॉर नाइन बाई गुजरात बोलर्स एट अ पैक नरेंद्र मोदी स्टेडियम The tournament's top scorer Josh Butler got out to GT skipper Hardik Pandya after making 39 of 35 balls. Hardik bowled brilliantly to finish with figures of 3 for 17 in his four overs, while Rashid Khan too had an excellent outing, taking 1 for 18 in his full quota of overs. In reply, Gujarat Titans lost two early wickets but eventually chased down the target of 131 with 11 balls to spare. A superb partnership between Laura Bulwad and Simran Bahadur for the ninth wicket brought velocity within touching distance of the title despite slipping to 117 for 8 in the 17th over in a chase of 166 but Sophie Eccleston bowled a fine last over holding her nerve to help supernovas lift the women's T20 challenge trophy for the third time in four editions Asked to bat, the Supernovas posted 165 for seven thanks to Deanda Dotton's 44 ball 62 and Harman Preet Kaur's 43 of 29. Dotton also did well with the ball, as did Alana King, but it was Eccleston who ensured that Bulwar's unbeaten 65 of 40 and Simran's 20 not out of 10 went in vain in the final at the MCA Stadium in Pune on Saturday, May 28. With Sri Lanka continuing to reel under economic and political crisis, the country's cricket board is expected to propose to the Asian Cricket Council to shift the Asia Cup out of the island. The Sri Lanka cricket also scheduled to convey the request to ACC President Jay Shah during the meeting on the sidelines of the IPL final. A few members of the SLC, including its president Shami Silva, were already in Ahmedabad. for the sunday's may 29th big match the asia cup is scheduled from august 27 to september 11 when contracted multiple members of the acc have said a final decision has not been taken yet but did not rule out the possibility i will have to check the final decision has not been taken a non sri lanka cricket member of the asian cricket council said a uh, sri lanka cricket council member remained non committal Having last played a home ODI in September 2019, USA made the most of home conditions on offer by registering an emphatic 104 run win over Scotland. USA posted a mammoth 310 on the back of Shushant Mudani and Gajanand Singh's crucial half centuries, while former captain Saurav Netwalkar had his tail up and bagged a five-wicket haul to hold up Scotland. Steven Taylor and Shushan Mudani gave early impressions of the good touch the pair were finding in the fence twice in the first two overs. Taylor kicked on and punished the opening bowling pair of Sufia Sharif and Gavin Main on his way to boundary lead in 42 of 43 balls. Netwalkar drew first blood of Scotland by having Matthew Cross holding out to mid off. The US spinners did well for them. The Australian men's team have a very busy 2022-2023 home season staring at them with the COVID-19 postponements crowding up already hard-pressed international calendar featuring a T20 World Cup. Australia will host West Indies for two tests and South Africa for three tests in a blockbuster red ball summer later in the year. The test season will begin in Perth as opposed to Brisbane and the second test against West Indies will be a day-night affair in Adelaide. South Africa will kick off the three match series at the Gabba before playing the coveted Boxing Day and New Year tests. Leading up to that are limited over series against Zimbabwe for three ODIs, against New Zealand for three ODIs and against West Indies for two T20 internationals before three T20 internationals and three ODIs against England which sandwich the T20 World Cup. The test summer kicks off after the third ODI against England. दोस्तों आज के लिए बस इतना ही कल हम फिर वापस लौटेंगे और भी दिलचस्प स्पोर्ट्स न्यूज के साथ तब तक के लिए हमारे चैनल के साथ बने रहिए इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें बेल आइकन के साथ धन्यवाद